back on channel Secret Paradise. This time we'll talk about. Maze, is one of the three sisters, corn, beans, and squash, and has been in cultivation for thousands of years. Types of Sweet Corn Corn comes in early, mid, and late season varieties. Early season varieties are the quickest to mature, while late season may take the entire growing season. For an extended harvest, plant varieties with different days to maturity. When to plant corn? Starting corn indoors is not generally recommended. It's best to start them directly in the garden so that their sensitive roots aren't disturbed due to transplanting. Direct sow corn seeds outdoors approximately two weeks after the last spring frost date. Consult our planting calendar, above, to see suggested planting dates for your region. It's important to get corn planted as soon as possible, since it requires a fairly long growing period with warm weather. Of course, corn is sensitive to frosts, so don't be too overeager. If you live in an area with a shorter growing season, choose an early variety that will mature well before the first fall frost. Soil temperature is key to successful germination. For corn, it should be at least 60 degrees Fahrenheit, 16 degrees Celsius, or 65 degrees Fahrenheit, 18 degrees Celsius, for super sweet varieties. In colder areas, the ground can be warmed by a black plastic cover, if necessary. Plant seeds through holes in the plastic. A couple of weeks after planting your first round of corn, plant another crop to spread out the harvest. There are four main types of hybrid sweet corn, sugary, sue, sugar enhanced, say, shrunken, sh, sh2, and synergistic, psi. Each one contains a different level of sucrose, changing the flavor and texture of the corn. Sweeter varieties will also stay sweeter for longer after harvest. Read more about the differences between these types in the recommended varieties section below. Choosing and preparing a planting site. Corn plants are picky about their soil. Ideally, aged manure or compost should be worked into the soil in the fall prior to planting and allowed to overwinter in the soil. By spring, the soil will be fertile and ready for corn. If that's not possible to do, simply mix an aged compost prior to planting. The soil should be well draining yet consistently moist. Corn tends to suck up a lot of water. For sufficient pollination, plan your plot right. Instead of planting one or two long rows of corn, plant blocks of corn at least four rows deep. This ensures that the corn, which is pollinated by wind, not bees, has a greater chance of producing viable, full airs. Or, for example, in a 10 by 10 foot plot, lay a drip line in ever increasing circles spaced 1 foot apart and plant a seed at each emitter. How to plant corn? To speed germination, moisten seeds, wrap in moist paper towels, and store in a plastic bag for 24 hours. Sow seeds about one and a half to two inches deep and four to six inches apart in rows 30 to 36 inches apart. You may choose to fertilize at planting time with a October 10, 2010 fertilizer, corn is meant to grow rapidly. If you are confident that the soil is adequate, this step can be skipped. Water well at planting time. Farming has to be a paying proposition, that is, the farmer has to be paid a fair profit as are other segments of the economy. Until such changes come about, one way to beat the system is to grow higher quality crops with less dollar input. Corn Soil Needs The very most basic thing for growing really good crops is good soil. Soil that is not only high in fertility, but is alive with beneficial organisms. The ideal soil for growing corn is deep six or more feet, medium textured and loose, well drained, high in water holding capacity and organic matter, and able to supply all the nutrients the plant needs. Of course, not everyone has the perfect soil, and corn isn't so fussy that it can't do well on less than ideal soil. 
but I will show you how to build up your soil so that you can grow much better corn. Crops that command premium prices on the market, or when fed to your animals, produce healthy, high producing animals. Believe it or not, many of our current methods of growing crops will nearly always produce poor quality foodless food. We use fertilizers and other agricultural chemicals that kill the life in the soil, which if allowed to live would help us grow good food. Soil becomes hard and tight, sterile. Weed and pest problems grow worse. Soil parts required for good corn. In average, good soil should contain nearly one half mineral particles, one fourth water, one fourth air, and a few percent organic matter. The minerals supply and hold some nutrients and give bulk to the soil. Water is necessary for plant growth and for the soil organisms, but not too much or too little. Air, oxygen, is needed by roots and beneficial soil organisms. Organic matter, humus and the living organisms that produce it, is a storehouse of certain nutrients, holds water, gives soil a loose crumbly texture, reduces erosion, buffers and detoxifies soil, and even helps protect plants from diseases and pests because of antibiotics and inhibitors produced by beneficial bacteria and fungi. Some of these friendly microbes also produce plant growth stimulators, others help feed nutrients directly to roots, and others trap, fix, nitrogen from the air, free fertilizer, nitrogen, corn soil nutrients. To be healthy and produce excellent crops, a growing plant needs an adequate and balanced supply of over a dozen nutrients, mostly coming from the soil. Some are needed in larger amounts, the major nutrients, nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, calcium, while others are needed in smaller amounts, the secondary and trace elements, magnesium, sulfur, iron, copper, zinc, manganese, boron, molybdenum, and chlorine. These plus carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen from the air and water are put together by the plant to form carbohydrates, sugars, starches, cellulose, fats, proteins, vitamins, and other miscellaneous products. Photosynthesis, powered by the sun's energy, and other metabolic processes accomplish these feats. In a living, well aerated, fertile soil, the minerals, humus, and microorganisms should supply all of the plant's needs if there are no stresses from weather. That's all about corn this time. Thank you for watching Chan's Secret Paradise.